Happy birthday, happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday to you. Sweetheart, come happy on. Happy birthday to my king. Thank you, baby. My love, my world. Thank you. My everything. Thank you. Come here. Happy birthday, baby. I love you, baby. I love you, love. See, no just to wish me happy birthday, baby. Come on. Well, I promised myself mm -hmm. I have to outsmart your mom this month. Really? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I bet you did. I don't think she's called me yet. She probably called me in the morning. Thank God, I won. <laughs> so, I go you this. You deserve more. <laughs> Thank you. And champagne as well. Oh, well, it's not. I'm just, I'm just surprised that you had to, you know, stay awake to, to, to do all of this. For my king. I love you, baby. I love you more. Thank you. But wait, so who were you expecting to love? I don't know. I don't have anyone. <laughs> you better love me forever. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? You know you're my queen, right? Mm. Tell me more. You're my universe. Mm -hmm. You're the love of my mm -hmm. life. You're the one that makes my heart beat. I love you today and I'm going to love you forever. Mm? I love you too. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Come here. I said, open the gate. Sorry, ma. Hey, sweetheart. I thought you left already. I just got my laptop and the girls have to work on a roast dinner. See how you're all, all over the place. Come on now, relax. Eh? Look at you. Maybe I have to go. I know you have to go, but you know what? I think that it's that time of the year where you go for your annual leave. Really, you're working too hard. You're overworking yourself. I think you need a break. Yes, I will. But for now, there's lots of work. I, I know that there's work to be done, but come on now. Huh? Hey. Take some time off. I need to go. I know. Hello. Bye. Love you, Bye. <laughs> love you too. <laughs> Hello, dearie. Hello, Antonia. Hi, how are you doing? I just got off the phone now with your husband, wishing him a happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Listen, I just want to remind you of his birthday dinner this evening. You want to remind me? Do you think I would ever give up an opportunity to dine with my best friend, Hannah, husband? Of course not. I can't forget. <laughs> You're in this, your sarcasm, eh? See, I have to go. Okay, okay Derry. Catch you soon. Love you. Hey, that's one. What's up? 
Hey, what's up? Happy birthday, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for the best wishes. I appreciate it. Yeah. You know, I wish you nothing but the best, right? I wish you long life and prosperity and plenty money. Cool. All right, so hope um, both of you are getting ready for the dinner this evening. We're not missing it for anything now. We're coming through. No. <laughs> no, voila. See you. All right. See you then. Bye. Right. Okay, bye. Mama Shiwe! Mama Shiwe! Mama Shiwe! Onye! Mama Shiwe! Hey! Oga caretaker! Eh 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 eh! Don't caretaker me! Good morning sir! Don't hold your greetings to yourself! All I want is my accumulated 8 month rent! You are such a wicked woman! Hey! How about if other tenants in this compound are chronic debtors like you, how do I feed my wife and children? Oga caretaker, please I'm sorry! I promise I am going to pay you every cover that I'm holding you. Please, as soon as I get this money, I promise. Hey, 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 hold it there. What exactly do you want to pay? Hmm. Look at you. You see your life? You are not even sure when to pay my rent. When you get the money now, you start doing a picture for the boys. Eh? You start doing in theta. Now you cannot pay my rent. My friend, by the end of this month, if I don't see my rent, be prepared to leave this house. Hey. Understand? Over. Consider my daughter now. Eh? Where do you expect us to go Good from day, here? Eh? Be prepared to leave. Oh! A sudden death has exposed me and my daughter to financial hardship. Eh? Mama. Imagine I do refuse to sell the Gary to all of my friends. The friend would not pay for the rice of balls the previous time. I really wish I can help my mom. I really do. But she won't let me. She won't allow me to assist her. I really do understand her fear. She doesn't want you to plan with your future. And you really need the best home training before you can live on your own. Oh, come on, babe. Look at me now. Am I a baby? I'm no longer a baby. I mean, I know what is right from wrong at this time of my age. Just imagine, oh, the landlord came. He came to the house just yesterday for his rent money. Hmm. Eh? I mean, if not for you helping out, Onga would have taken us to another world, though. Eh? Don't worry. No situation lasts forever. Just keep praying, okay? Okay. I'll keep praying. What can I do at this point? Just keep praying. Okay. I should get going now. Ah, so fast. Well, my friend, thank you. Thank you for ah, everything. You've been stop doing. thanking me. And now come. See me off. Ah, okay, okay. Let me help you carry your bag. Oh, you're such a girl. <laughs> thank, you. thank you. Thank <laughs> you. I am all set. Whoa, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the first of them all? <laughs> is it just me or does someone else see what I see in this beautiful lady? What do you say? <clears throat> okay. I see the most beautiful, most elegant and adorable woman in the whole wide world. Well, what I see <laughs> <Tell me. laughs> is my humble self mm -hmm. and my calling all superman i love you i love you ma and i'll take you around the world i'll be your guest so basically this is it and i'm really really certain you'll help us it was a brilliant presentation maria mm. that is great that's so true i totally agree with you sir you know maria's uh, undeniable strategy is the way forward to resolve our issues with the just holding. That's fine. Thank you so much for the acting. Okay, please uh, see me in my office sure. when you are done with the document. Sure, I will. Sir.
I'm sorry, please. Can I okay. forward the reports to the headquarters? Yes. Yes, fine. Thank you very much. Uh, Thank you, sir. Right. Shall we? Oh, yes, yeah, of course. All, All right. right. For 10, huh? Hey, birthday man. You guys on your way? Oh, yeah. Oh, you know I can't do anything for Chinese rice, right? Okay, then. I'm on my way to see you guys soon, okay? Oh, okay, alright. We're on our way. Alright. Cheers, bro. Okay. <sighs> Finally. We've moved past it. Moved past what? Maria, moved, moved past what? Moved past the fact that you what? You kept me and my friends waiting at the restaurant for over two hours on my birthday. I, 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 you, you think I should just what, let it slide? How embarrassing can that be on my birthday? What? My your work couldn't also wait today on my special day. How do you? Think I feel every time you make me come second. Every time I would always have to come after your work, even on my birthday. What are, are you? Are you tell me we've moved past it? I'm not happy. All right. 
I'm, I'm, look. You know I love you. You know I can't live without you. I can't like you if you are angry. Please, babe. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes I feel that you're taking advantage of how I feel about you. You know that, right? What you did wasn't right. I know, and I'm really sorry. I promise to never be you sick in your life. Sure. Am I forgiven? How are you? Oh. Uh, so, Mama, what do you think about the business I spoke to you about earlier? The working business now, the one of selling oranges or maybe even zobo. Chi, mm. eh? mm. I might be poor, but I will never allow my daughter to hawk on the streets. Mba, not possible. Oh, Mama, do we have a choice? Remember the ultimatum the landlord gave us is due. Hmm. And I already missed my WIAC exams because we couldn't afford to pay for it. Doing this business, Mama, might help us to pay for our rent or my WIAC, my WIAC exam. I have given my verdict. No daughter of mine is going to hawk on the streets. Mbani. No one. I've been able to borrow some money from that my friend that sells a cricket. At least, I can pay the landlord for a month. Mama, really? Okay. Hey, well, you should have told me now. I won't now. You should have told me. I'm sorry for arguing with you, Mama. Sorry for yourself. <laughs> But Mama, you know I only want to help. I just want to help. No, mm, you want to help. Yes, okay, Mama. Madam Epa, you will help yourself first. No. Start with this. Help with this. <laughs> While I do other things. Mama! Mm. Okay. Make sure you do it well. Okay, Mama. My friend, I really don't know when the game changer will choose to change our story. I mean, my mom won't stop taking loans. Eh? And she doesn't want you to assist? No, she doesn't. All she keeps saying is God's time is the best. God's time is the best. When? Really? <sighs> okay. Just imagine the other day. She borrowed money from her friend to settle off her house rent. Who does that? Who? Take it easy. She just wants the best for you. I know. I know she does. But I just don't like the idea of her borrowing money to pay off another debt. That doesn't make any difference. I know. It doesn't. So, what are you going to do now? Honestly, I don't know. And I'm tired. I'm, I'm really, really tired.
I smell something burning. But is it just my nose? Babe, come on! You have something. Ah! <laughs> You're always, always so. So all the work that you look, you're gonna burn down this house at the rate at which you're going. What you need some help? <laughs> you sure you're good? Huh? Is everything okay? No. Hello, bro. Hey, what's going on? Your your call was quite um, you know hasty. Oh yes, it is. Uh, it's the contract we're bidding for. So, our contract person with Agza, Agza PLC sent some documents in for us to sign today and okay. get back to them first thing tomorrow morning. Oh, all right. I I see that. Um, oh, okay, okay, okay. Can cool. I look? Can I look at this and and, and get back to you later, please? What's up? What's up? You look worried. What's the problem? <sighs> That's mine, man. I don't... Look, my wife's obsession for her job is... is on the increase and it's taking its toll on our marriage. Cindy, uh, your wife has always been a career person, even before you guys met, so should I that know, be a problem? I no. Know, but it wasn't this bad. Look, it's on the increase and, and it's affecting our bonding as husband and wife. I understand. But, I mean, there is no perfect woman anyway. My wife is not even perfect. What we do is just, we toilet each other. I mean, that's, that's what we do. They say for better for worse, right? <laughs> However, thanks bro. I will just go through this and I'll revert, okay? No kiddos bro. Alright bro. Alright, see you. Alright. These are the Elico um, projects you requested for. Okay. Okay. Thank and you. please do not forget your meeting with the MD in the next 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. All right. How can I forget? It's okay. <laughs> Bye. Hi, babe. Hey, babe. <laughs> how are you? Um, I just want you to know I'll be home late. I'm having a meeting with my MD. Is that so? Okay. Okay. That's fine. Uh, by the way, I know you're going to be hungry when you get back here, so what would you like me to make for you? Hmm. <laughs> Rice and stew will be fine. Okay. Rice and stew, you said. It's fine. I can do that. I can do that. <laughs> you love it, chef. Yeah. Don't miss me too much, bro. I already miss you, baby. Okay, what can I do? Alright. I got to go. Love you.
What is the sugar? What's the salt here now? Come on. Ah, oh, should have looked for this salt first at the bottom of this rice. I'm not sure the quantity of salt in this tube. Salt here. You've not had any excess drink. You are the one who is drunk. But for how long? How long has this been going on? How long have you been taking contraceptives? How long? Babe, babe, listen. Listen, I can't explain. No, please. Do you know how long I have been waiting to have a child? Do you know how long I have been waiting on you to tell me that we're respecting, Maria? Do you think, do you, do you, do you think that I'm getting, I'm getting any younger? You think I have all that time? Huh? Babe, okay, calm down, please. I can explain. Stay away from me. Love me. Maria, my lord, like me seeing you today obviously means that you dreamt about me. So, if it's okay. You know I enjoy your company. Uh, and work doesn't allow me. Uh, I get it. Corporate job is quite time consuming and all, but you're welcome. So, what do I offer you? I have a furry roll of bono, pounded yam. Just name it, trust me. Antonia, that's not the issue. It's not the issue. It's trouble. It's today. What happened to today? It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. She can escape. I'm sorry. Until they found the contraceptives I was using. And he's so mad at me that it's been four days and he's talking to me. Are you even listening to yourself? I'm packed out of the house. A married woman? Who is yet to give birth? And you're using contraceptives! Why are you making things worse? <sighs> Antonia, I know I am wrong and I have accepted it. Besides, you can't blame me. I decided to prevent myself from getting pregnant so that I could acquire the senior position I was looking for. And I've worked hard for it. I don't know if this is just me or... It's just strange. Like, I think something is wrong with you. Something is definitely wrong with my best friend. Tonya, you are making things worse. Are you even listening to me? I said I am wrong and I accept it. Okay. I just need one favor if you are ready to do it for me. So what's the favor? Please. 
I want you to talk to your husband. Help me talk to him so he can talk to Tunde to forgive me. Babes, you effed up big time, seriously. And I will do my best, okay? But, I, I mean... Me I try. You disappointed me. I, I'll, I'll talk to Tunde. I'll talk to him. I'll talk to him. Please. Hello. I owe you one. Always. Please, let's not give the devil a chance in this union. Sir, forgive your wife. Babe, I'm sorry. I accept I did the wrong thing, please. I'm tired of your lies, Mary. I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. I'm tired. You've become very, very manipulative. I'm tired. <laughs> Madam, you have sinned against God. You've sinned against your husband. And you've also sinned against your body. By using contraceptives without the knowledge and consent of your husband. Can't you see this marriage is still very young? And you need children. And children are blessings from God. <laughs> but seriously, are you building are you building up to it at all? Yeah, yeah, are you okay? Look, doctor, I'm worried because the, the truth is my wife is not one who, you know, want to fall ill constantly. So the constant illness and, you know, vomiting, you know, is, is becoming worrisome. Mr. Tunde, you have nothing to worry about. From the results of the test conducted on your wife, I'm pleased to inform you that she's six weeks pregnant. What? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right, doctor. We'll, we'll come see. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, bye. <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. You know she's the only one who can help with these kind of things. Hmm? So. Sorry, what did you say? Because I, I couldn't hear you. I was just looking at your very beautiful lips and how are beautiful you are as a pregnant woman. <laughs> I'm leaving you now. <laughs> Leave me go away. Don't even oh, no, try no. me. Just turn now. Just you know, take you off and get you pregnant again. <laughs> On top of this one that you're carrying. Here you go. Antonia, my baby. Yes, love. Antonia, my best friend. <laughs> so, what's happening now? Do you are happy and shining and glowing. See and... <laughs> Calling kettle black. Do you want to compare the huge salary you make in your office with the peanuts I make in my store? Leave that, Jeremy. I, beg, I beg you, please. At least you have peace of mind. Baby, yes. You're and right. you have all the time to yourself. You're right about that. But babes come, like, I'm seeing something different here. What is changing? About you me? are glowing. Not mm. just glowing, like, you're popping up. Mm. What's the secret? Tell me now, you know I'm your bestie of life. Look at that, she's even flaunting everything. <laughs> <laughs> Tell Guess me, what's what? the secret? Guess now, you're too lazy. Ah. You know I don't like guessing. It's going to make me start sober reacting and all of that. What's the good news? Tell me. It's your laziness. Do you think you can handle this God motherhood thing well? Uh, am I hearing it right? God, can you handle with your laziness? Oh my God. If you can't, tell me, let me give it to someone else. Let me hear you say it. Just say it. You're going to be a good mother. Oh my! Oh, wow. oh, congratulations! Oh, so they will be so proud of you. It will be so happy and excited. Congratulations, baby girl. Thank you, Oh, wow. There's a problem. What's the problem again? Tunde insisted on me getting a house help. Okay. Okay. And I don't know if you remember that your agent that supplies meat. Oh, Madame Kuku. I yeah, still have, I, she's alive, I, I have her contacts. Let me call her right away. Like, this, this is urgent. This oh, is good God. news. Okay. All right. It's ringing. Babe. Why do you think we should go for scan, you know, so as to know the baby's sex? I love surprise. And I'm not sure when I'm going to have the scan. Okay, no problem. But I have a feeling that it is going to be a boy, you know. Oh so yeah, I have very strong genes, you know me. <laughs> you know me. Well, sorry to bust your bubble. I know it's going to be a female. You know, I can't wait to have a mini me. I can't wait for you. I like a girl child too, you know. It's not a problem. As long as she's as beautiful as you are. And she should have your eyes. She should have your nose. <laughs> hmm? I love you. Don't I love you more? Mm, I love you more. Nigerian, Benin, 
even Britico as a maid. <laughs> so you have variety yeah. of them. Um, I'm, I'm impressed. That's nice. But um, the truth is, I'm okay with anybody. Okay, I just want the person to be responsible. Don't worry. I hope that's not too hard. I'm going to give you just the best. I'm trusting you. I'll make you. Have your drink. Feel free. Okay. <laughs> That's my present for you. Perfect. How is your friend? Yeah, fine. I'm almost supposed to see Mama Chiwe. Mama Chiwe. Mama Chiwe. Eh? I am I sick and tired of your debt. You are leaving my house this moment. Hey. Eh, what? Yes. Nah. Eh? But I just paid you some money last week. Hey, hey, hey. You are owing me eight months and you managed to pay four months. Do you think I'm a fool? If I'm a fool, I'm a I'm a fool. Yeah. I'm a fool. Guys, move in there. Mama Shiwe, for how long are you going to subject yourself and your daughter to abject poverty? Eh? <laughs> it is not my wish, eh? but what will I do? After the sudden death of my husband, he left us with a lot of debt to upset. You have a choice. Your daughter, see how beautiful she is. Shiwe has personally requested that I fix her up with one of my rich clients. Okay. Have you seen any now? Ah, ah. Haba, are you asking again? That's my feed now. As I speak to you right now, I have three families that are asking that I bring them, I bring them meat. Hey, yeah? Hmm. Um, I hope these people don't maltreat their housemaid and that they will take Who good care of Who is going to maltreat her? Even sometimes they take them to school or take them to go and learn. Huh? See how beautiful you just look at the daughter you have. See how beautiful she is. Is this what you want for yourself? For how long? My friend. <sighs> yes, Mama. And they pay well too. In fact, one of my friends works for a family in Banana Island. In oh. fact, every month she sends money to her mom and her siblings. Mm -hmm. Will you shut up your mouth? Who invited you now to this discussion? My no. friend. Eh, my friend, there is an atom of truth to what she just said right now. Eh, listen to her. Chiwe, chiwe, beautiful girl, <laughs> my baby. <laughs> oh. Okay, if you say so, then let's... The, uh, the arrangement, let us start the arrangement now. You know, Chiwe is just <laughs> like my daughter. And we never want something bad for her. I want to the best for her. Thank you, Mama. So long as you don't go there and uh, disgrace me, oh, no, just Mama. go there and make me proud. I will. I will. Mm. You know why you are going, no? Yes, Mama. Okay. Baby, I miss you. You got back home early today. Something to celebrate. Don't change the topic. I'm not changing the topic. You usually don't show up at the time, so you're Stop here now. Teasing me. I'm not teasing you. You love your work too much. Hmm? I love you. I love I like, you more. You love me more? 
than your work? Mm -hmm. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but how do you see her for real? Is she good? Hi there. Hello. You look tired and distracted. I hope all is well with you. All is fine. Okay, if you say so. Well, I got an info from the headquarters and I was told that uh, I've been promoted to the regional manager. Congratulations. Thanks. Thank you. You should also be congratulating yourself because you'll be taking over the MD seat. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. I mean, because no one here is better than you are. Thank you. You're welcome. So You're welcome. It's all right. You know, I was scared you were pregnant. Hence, uh, my initial question to your perceived tiredness. Okay. You've been needing strength now than ever. I'm not pregnant. Oh, okay. I've been working hard for this position and nothing is going to stop me. Oh, that's quite interesting. That's my baby girl. Okay, it's alright, I'll be taking my... Alright, no problem, okay, you have a great day. You too. Okay. And make sure you bring the files for your I will, just give me some minutes. <sighs> Thank you, my creator. This is the opportunity I've been waiting for. But how do I manage my pregnancy with this forthcoming position? Hmm. Lotti, how are you? And how is your boss? We're fine, Mama. We're fine. Hey, I hope they are not maltreating you. They are taking. She's taking good care of you. In fact, my madam is very nice. She's very nice to me. She even buys me things. But uh, now my yoga is very strict, though. Very, very strict. He doesn't even answer me when I greet him. Gee, so long as your direct boss is nice to you, I will say just leave your her husband, though. Make sure you respect him. Don't do anything that will make him have problem with you, okay? Okay, okay, mama. But, but I, I have to go now. My, my boss might call me, and if he calls me and I don't come, he will complain. So let me just go, eh? Okay, mama. Take care of yourself, eh? And say me hi to everybody, oh? Okay, mama. Bye. Hey, take care of yourself. Bye-bye. Hey. Oh, God, dude. <laughs> Hey. Yeah, hello? Yes, yes, yes. This is Tunde speaking, yeah? Who? What? Okay, okay, um... Yes, I can, I can hear you, I can hear you. What, what's the location of the hospital? All right, I'll, I'll be there right away, okay? All right, thanks. Oh. May God Almighty give you another pregnancy that will last till birth and even beyond. Listen, Maria, you should be thankful to God for your life. Yes, your car got badly damaged, but at least you came out unscratched. It's a lot better I get scratched and my pregnancy remains intact. Hey, babe, don't talk like that, okay? Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for the words of encouragement. We really appreciate it. Yes, we 
We're really excited about the prospects of, of becoming parents and having a kid. And however, God knows best. And we were positive that He'll give us another child. Thank you so much for stopping by. We really appreciate it, babe. Yeah. We're fine, okay? Just be of good cheer. We'll be okay. I keep saying that to you. you doing? Come here! What was that I saw you doing? What was that I saw you doing? What was that I saw you doing? Listen, the next time, the next time I find your hand in my food, I will skin you alive. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Where are you from? Where did they get you from? Huh? What is happening? Can you imagine this thing? No, 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 I, I don't care. From. Take her out of this house. Take her back to you, babe. What? I found this girl dipping her fingers into a little drop of soup. Food meant for everyone in this house. Calm down. Take this girl out of my house. Why did you do such a thing? I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. Would you shut up? I'm sorry. Dirty girl. Get out of my sight. Kind of get it, please. Babe. Babe. I'm telling you, look, that guy is hilarious. You know, you go to his shop to get your car service, and then he just shows up with some very ambiguous list, and then you're wondering, like. Where did you get all of this from? You know, it doesn't make any kind of sense at all. Did you actually tell him what you wanted? What are you saying? The guy just likes to extort money from people. You know? It's 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 unbelievable. <laughs> and then they and then they say he's the best in the area. That 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 I, I don't understand. Like you're the best and then you extort extorting money. Maybe he's the best in his village and the thing that he's best in the area. It, it's it's actually horrible, mm -hmm. I'm telling you. That's fine, Chief. It's horrible. Mm -hmm. No, 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 don't worry, don't worry. I I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> What? Are you okay? No. no. Are you okay? Yes. Yes. You're asking me, why did you bring this girl? Maybe she wants something, but I don't know. Let me go. Hello? Hello? Do you want me to get your malaria medicine? No, no, not at all. I told you it's just the weather. I'll be fine. But you just told me that you vomited twice. I know. But it's the AC in my room. It's too cold. <laughs> wow. You mean AC gives people malaria? I'll get used to it. If you say so. I'm just wishing you quick recovery. Thanks, girlfriend. But don't worry, don't worry, I'll be fine, okay? Okay, so when are you coming to visit me? I'll visit you soon. Very, very soon. So that you can expect. Okay, I'll be waiting. Alright, bye. Okay, bye.
Hi, Miriam. Have you heard about what is happening? I just got the information that the company is bringing in an expert to rate to take over the boss's position. And it's terrible. The board of directors of these companies, they are male and heartless. After all your commitment and your services to this company, still, they are still doing this to you. Man, it's terrible. I don't know what to do, man. Since you are refusing to talk, be ready to leave this house as soon as your mother comes. Do you hear me? I'm very sorry. Sorry for your loose self. I feel like just slapping your dirty face. Everything for you. <laughs> I'm waiting for your mother. I'm waiting for her because I can't keep a pregnant prostitute in my house. <laughs> Every day they open legs. Oh. What is happening here? <laughs> Jimmy, what have you done to your boss? Ask her. Mama, your daughter is pregnant. <laughs> And she refuses to tell us who is the father of that bastard she's carrying. Why have you done this to us? Eh? Was this what we agreed on? Eh? I only accepted that you take up this house girl job so you'll be able to make money and pay for your GCE exam. And now you're pregnant. Eh, Jimmy, why have you done this to us? I'm very sorry for disappointing you, Mama. I'm sorry. Oh. Now tell me, who got you pregnant? Who? <laughs> Chima, who got you pregnant? <laughs> if you don't tell me who got you pregnant now, I will use my bed and remove this shameful pregnancy in you. <laughs> eh? Who got you pregnant? <laughs> Please be to this help. Thank you, welcome. I was just in Lego for some evangelism and I decided to stop by and check up on everyone. No, please sit down. I hope everything is okay. No, no problem. Oh, welcome. Please You won't answer your mother. Who got you pregnant? I'm not changing. It's like you're not understanding the question I'm asking. I said, oh, you got to Do you know what you are saying? Do you know what you are saying? Who got asin? Who put that thing inside your, your, your stomach? Who got you Help. It's pregnant. The village girl is pregnant. She's saying you are the one. Yes, Maria. Ha! I'm responsible. Maybe you're not understanding this question now. She's pregnant. And she's saying it's you. I am saying that I am responsible, no! Maria. The child that she's carrying is mine. Okay? I'm disappointed in you. I am the one who is hurt and disappointed. Oh, I loved you. I loved you with every part of me. You are the one woman that I have loved with all of my heart. But now, you placed your work ahead of our home. You destroyed 
this home with your insatiable obsession for your work and that you brought this upon us. So yes, I am responsible. I am the father of the child that she's carrying. And I am happy that you finally got what you deserve. You deserve this? Yes, you do. She <laughs> waits in now, so. Oh yes, in every way you have wronged me. In every way you have taken our marriage for granted. In every way our marriage has come second in everything that you have done. She's pregnant for me. And let everyone let this girl be. Listen woman, relax, okay? This is not a big deal. She's pregnant. She's pregnant. Counselor, I got a call that my wife had been in a car accident and that she had lost her child. I panicked. After the accident, uh, a text message came on Maria's phone from the doctor who had treated her after the accident while she was in the bathroom. Her phone beeped. And I picked up her phone and I read the message. Mr. Tindy, it's been a while. I haven't seen you in a wife at the hospital. My brother, you know, we've just been busy running around, actually. You know. Busy or you're angry that I advised your wife not to abort the pregnancy? What pregnancy? Well, your wife came by the hospital with a private reason that you both decided to abort the baby, to abort the pregnancy. Then I got angry and told her that I'm not happy with your decision. I'm not aware of what you're ta talking about right now. Well, let's assume that this conversation between you and I never took place. Yes. Happen, I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> I did what I had to do because there was a job opening for me to occupy a senior position, and I knew being pregnant would would make me lose this opportunity. But babe, I swear, if I knew this would happen, I wouldn't have done that, babe. You know I love you. <laughs> Madam, I'm really sorry, but it's not good enough. You know my story. I'm a poor widow, and then she here happens to be the only child that I have. I didn't wish all this for her. I wished and uh, wanted her to further education. That was why I agreed for her to come into your house and then um, take this job of a house help. But now, this has happened to her. I don't know what to do. I don't know how I'm going to go about it. So please, Sabiko, I want to know what you think or... Oh. Concerning a issue now, a condition. Oh, madam, your daughter is carrying my child. <laughs> and I'm not a very responsible man. I would look after your daughter. I would take responsibility. 
for the child she's carrying and your daughter. And even after delivery, she will continue to stay with me. Never! Thank In you. which house? Thank you. In which house? In which house? You will never stay. She's a witch. She will stay. She will stay. I will kill you. you will never... I will kill this girl. Yeah. I will kill this girl. Yeah. I will kill this girl. You cannot kill this girl. I will kill this girl. I will kill this girl. I will kill my daughter. You just turn the hands of the clock around for me. You've changed my story to a good one. This is wonderful. Hey! Oh, make my liars. Because now don't go, please. Oh, thank you. Please, oh God, oh God, oh God. My story around. Hey. You have done it. You have made me proud. I want hey. to Oh, make my liars. Oh, oh me, you could. Jehovah me kwa la yozo Omi yuko Omi kwa la yozo